plaintiff, John Allen, says after he went to a party at the defendant's house, the defendant went on Facebook Live and falsely accused John of criticizing his curtains. And John has the video in court today. He's suing for defamation of character. Defendant Tessie J insists he did hear John criticizing his curtains, which were a gift from his grandmother. And three weeks later, John assaulted him in church. Tessie's countersuing for pain and suffering. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Hello, how you doing today? Good. Um, so I met TZ um, at a club in 2021. Um, that's where I eventually would have um, started. Um, we, I, we, we hit it off well, at least I assumed that we did. Um, we had a lot of things in common, um, music, just a plethora of stuff. Um, he's known for throwing parties. So he eventually, um, over the course of time, invited me to a party that he was hosting. Um, there the party was, I, I assumed that the party was, you know, fun, turn, live, or whatever. Um, it was said, hypothetically. You mean assume you were there? What I'm saying, I, I had a great you time You looked at around, the party. was it? I was at the party, but what I'm saying, he said that I was talking about him um, or his curtains or something like that. He directly didn't never say anything to me. The party was amazing. Um, everything about the party was amazing. It was just after the after the party, I just felt like I feel like it wasn't a good. I feel like it wasn't genuine. The, the relationship, the what energy, he the he was talking about me. He made a whole video, a rant. He drunk on social media, made a rant about me, saying God I talked about his grandma curtains. I I never said anything about his curtains. Oh, sorry, old curtains. Yes. <laughs> Uh, uh. Run this by me again. So I went Y'all fell you. out mm -hmm. because he thinks you don't like his grandma's curtains. He assumed that I was talking about his curtains. Uh. Assume, assume, made an assumption. On, on social media, made a video drunk. It's drunk, drunk, talking about me. He gets upset about that's something to fall out about and make a video on you about. Is he that? Apparently, he felt per it was personal. Maybe, Maybe them curtains was up. ugly or something. I don't know. You. How you doing, Judge? Good. So he claiming that you know he's falling he? out about that. He? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So the thing is, you're a uh, female impersonator or transgender. Neither. I'm androgynous. Androgynous. Yes. Okay. And androgynous, so the viewers know, we all need to evolve and learn and be informed. I uh -huh. think androgynous means it's hard to tell. You explain. Uh-huh, so androgynous is basically to the eye. I'm gonna mm -hmm. just paraphrase it. To the eye, you're able to um, appear male and female without any extra enhancements. That's surgery. just what I said. Yeah, so <laughs> pretty much. Kind of question my LGBTQ plus but You got it, though. Uh, intelligence. You got it. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I'm the man in that. I've quickly become an expert in that area. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm very curious and because I want to be able to evolve uh -huh. and lift up uh, my views or ignorance on the LBGDQ plus mm -hmm. uh, community's uh, values, customs, practices, culture, yeah. uh, everything. So we can be informed. That's the opposite of uninformed, which some might say ignorant. It <laughs> some call ignorance. it ignorant, I call it uninformed. Uh, but the basis of a lot of our discrimination is based on that, and so that's why I want to be informed, so I can relay that information. Now, y'all see, I know what androgynous is. It's <laughs> difficult to tell between a man and a woman by appearance, say. Correct, correct. We don't stop questioning my credentials. <laughs> Go ahead, young so, man. So, okay. The whole thing is, I threw a party, you know, the it was going good, but I was in the other room, and I overheard John Gosh. say, I overheard John say, well, his grandma, uh, well, he was like, them curtains old as hell. And I'm like, I know he never, ever, ever, no. You don't know you said that, because. So I'm no. like, I'm like, 
I wonder why would he say that, but I ain't say nothing that night. He was just like, yeah, you know, his grandma, uh, curtains, the curtains old as hell. So I'm like, man, my grandma gave me them curtains. So I didn't, I ain't say nothing to him. Uh oh. Now in two days, in two days, I woke up one morning, I took me a little shot of blue tie Never vodka. Shots. And you know, I got on live, I was like, I need to vent. So I did. Two days later. Two days, it was two days later. Paused, I realized, he, I'm like. So why he didn't say no when he saw me? Do you right. see what I'm saying? He Power. right there with you. Why you didn't Power. say anything? And no class. So back to what I was saying. You know, I, I was like, let me vent. You know, I'm like, man, I didn't realize that somebody said something about my curse. But I know somebody said something about my curse. It was John, because that's his voice. Ain't nobody got no voice like John's voice. So I know his voice. So I'm like, okay, my grandma gave me no curse. Like, them curse are dear to me. So I'm like, you know, you shouldn't worry about it. You shouldn't be in my room, period. So you need to keep your eyes, you know, in, you know, in. All of fellowship. That's how I feel. That's right. But you know, he wanted to address the curtains. And I was like, I should have told him he should have addressed the door. But he didn't. He addressed the he door. Should've addressed he should have addressed me when he, when he addressed found the door. out that I said something about his curtain. So that's what he should have did. He should have addressed me then, not over on no social media post, I video, agree. or whatever you want to call yourself doing. But I didn't say but his it's name. A conjunction. Didn't Anything say his name the in the video. Don't matter. Didn't say his name in the video. Well, we'll have to get to whether he is the only one that fits that particular description because even though you say things on the internet and you don't use the person's name, yet you say all type of Trying to be subliminal things and defaming things. Well, if people will know who it is because of the description of that person's lifestyle, location, or any other way. Or change the Ah, the only person fit that description. Yeah, he got to be talking about uh, Jonathan. Yeah, that's Jonathan. Uh-huh, yeah, that's who he talking about. Because there's no other person that does this or fits this description. That's defamation as well, whether you use the name or not. So we'll get to the content of it uh, to determine uh, whether it goes far enough for a defamation judgment. He's talking about me. He made a whole video, a rant. He drunk on social media, made a rant about me, saying God I heard about his grandma curtains. I, I never said anything about his curtains. Old curtains, sorry. Old curtains, yes. <laughs> so I went Y'all fell see. out mm -hmm. because he thinks you don't like his grandma's curtains. Plaintiff John Allen is suing his former friend, who claims John assaulted him in church. You tell me uh, what was said, or do you have a video of it? Um, there should be a video. Um, mm -hmm. If you can play the video, there should be a video. Good. All right, so they should have it. Grandma gave me them curtains. I, like, it, like, I don't get it. You know how you invite somebody over? You, you know, I'm more of a spirit. You can't invite everybody out of your house because all them spirits, them demons, they always be carrying with them. It be right on their back because they ain't wash their clothes. But we, we ain't gonna get But he to wanna that. say I ain't got no but clothes. But nah, but for real. The hoe came in my room and I remember I had my room closed. I, I still, I, it's like I know who said it, but I don't know who said it, but I know who said it because the hoe said something about my curtains. My grandma gave me them curtains and I must keep saying it, hoe. And my grandma said, you can ha you get these curtains until you buy you some. And I might not want to buy me no more. Didn't buy no Them hoes are dear to me. Stupid ass. I meant to say that long time ago. But since I took this shot, it really came on now. <laughs> I just don't understand. You can't. You. And then another thing, I don't say nothing. No, I ain't going to get into that. But still, ho going to say, damn. Your curtains old as hell. Your curtains look old as hell. Your sheets, my grandma gave it to me. Hoes gonna be having a pot to and ho ain't even got their own. Talking about the next. Ho, mind you, find you somebody else to play with, ho, cause I ain't your puppet. I ain't got a string on me. I had to vent, y'all. I'm glad Shay told me the. Give y'all a sermon. Yeah, y'all don't invite these hoes into your houses because these hoes be hanging on your curtains. Yeah, that's, I just can't stand up. They feel like they could just come in and address the curtains. Ho, address the door, exit little. You want to see the curtains? They do give you some old, they do give you old school vibe. Don't they? These the curtains. Oh, don't yeah. they? I got can't a whole worry curtain. about these hoes. Oh, man, <laughs> my grandma gave me them curtains. And, and I'm gonna keep saying the hoe, hoe gonna come in. Damn, oh, them baby. curtains look old. Well, oh well, bitch. Them hoes hanging up is f They up. 
well put together. It took you buy me some, cause I ain't asked for no. That's why I have no house warming, because these not to warm up at home. They make it hot as hell. That's why I ain't with these hoes. These hoes. That's why I ain't had no house warming. My grandma house warmed me up, baby. Is you saying? Look, look. Oh. Alcoholic. <laughs> Alcoholic. This why I this why I don't this why I don't hang with hoes now. This why I stay to myself. I hope we can play as much as possible, but they can see. They gonna Do be you, beeped you? Most of that's gonna be beeped out. <laughs> that was funny, but if you were wrong. Too many bees huh? for me. It was just too many for me. He didn't me. mention your name. Can't nobody tell he's he talking just did, about he, you. He, he just tell you right here though. He just said he knew that it you was You're the one that brought him in here today telling right. the world. Clowning. You're the one brought him in here to tell the world. How long ago was that? So it was in uh, May. Yeah, what well, he did say in May, months ago, um, that he felt some type of way, a very, very, a very, very bad way, obviously, about how you had criticized the curtains that his grandmother gave you. And they do look nice. Did she make them? Thank you, yes. Yeah, I had She's a, I had a aunt. Be quiet. <laughs> I had an aunt, Eva Reynolds, God bless her soul. She was a seamstress and made curtains and clothes mm. uh, from the South. And they look like that. That's why I mentioned that. Oh, uh, yeah. That's how they look. And she was very highly heralded. So I relate to you, you being insulted when someone would come over and criticize your grandmother's Curtains. I wish they would come over and criticize Aunt Eva's curtains at my right. house. Are you kidding me? You <laughs> think they heard something? <laughs> Maybe. Would you jump online? I would wear them out. I would <laughs> jump get online. online in that case. <laughs> but that's why my family's scared we'd be off TV the next day on what I'm going to say to them people. <laughs> <laughs> and it ain't gonna be nice. <laughs> Somebody told me we should have a show. Judge Mathis behind this, or Judge Off Mathis the on, on the wall or something. <laughs> <laughs> After dark, Judge Mathis or unedited, <laughs> so they can hear some of the stuff I have. They have to cut out. <laughs> All right, and some of it might sound like you just did. That's why I ain't had no house warming. My grandma house warmed me up, baby. Is you saying? Look, look. Oh. Alcoholic. <laughs> Alcoholic. This why I this why I don't this why I don't hang with hoes now. This why I stay to myself. I hope we can play as much as possible, but they can see. They gonna Do be you, beeped out. Most of that's gonna be beeped out. <laughs> Plaintiff John Allen is suing his former friend, who claims John assaulted him in church. Tell me how this fit only your description, because he wasn't sounding convinced that it was you. He said somebody, and then he kept using plural when he was referring to the defamatory and the grading way uh, that you mentioned women. But I know in you all's community, you all call each other that. Mm -hmm. I can't call you no H, he can, <laughs> because that's common in you all's community. I can't call you no B, you all can call each other that. Uh, he can't call me no N. Uh, and I can't call him uh, whatever the defaming and degrading word is for the Irish. There's one, doesn't come to mind immediately. But I can't do that. He can do that at home with his family and his Irish friends. I can call the N word to my family and to my friends because it has no negative connotation mm -hmm. and you're not trying to insult. That's the issue. Right. Are you trying to insult someone? So I always, I'm teaching again that folks, y'all can say certain things to some people That's and certain thing. things you can't say to others. Yeah. And in this case, they can call each other H's and B's and <laughs> y'all all right with it and you will call it back and y'all will be at dinner the next day with no problem. All right, so that's why I wanna make sure folks know I wouldn't say that because I can't say that type of stuff to you, to you all's community, members of your community. All right, but once again, you tell me how they could definitively know he was talking about you. So we have mutual friends um, and we have other acquaintances. Mm -hmm. um, and I did not, or I was not aware of the video originally until it was brought to my How attention. How would your acquaintance know that he was talking about you? Because I came to the party. So you said it at the party? Well, I, in front even, of everybody. Even if I, even if I said it right, you mean, hypothetically. Even if. You got to tell me what I you did, said. I did. You I did say case. it. That's the thing. I did not say it. Oh, it was Lord something Jesus. that he assumed 
that I said. So that's why he made a video in retaliation. I never said anything about his curtain. That's why I'm saying if I said why something about your curtain. Why do you think he curtain, made that up on you out of all I, the people at the party? Maybe he was insecure. Maybe he have knew that his curtain was why, old. Have you asked him why he I did, made that I did. up? I did. And um, what did he say? So I had um, a person at church um, mm. and I called myself up asking, confronting him about the video. He gave me a mad attitude. He made it seem like I'm the one that was insecure and I wasn't looking for that. Him? I'm, yeah. He called himself turning around real hard, like turning around on me. Oh. And so I just booped, you know. In church? Yes. Mm-hmm. Y'all fighting in church? Well, it wasn't supposed to be a fight in church. So, fight in church. so this is like three weeks after the fact. Go to church. It was already a rough start going into church. They tell you, spit your gum out. It's just too much going on. And John already looked irritated. So he walked up he to me. He just as irritated Yeah, like he said, he me. confronted me, but I ain't getting no words out because he already mad. And I guess whoever was with him, I don't know if it was his family or something, they just boosted him up like Boost Mobile. And so now he want to hit me just with that, with that same bag. That white, that's why he like dressing in white. Give me murder vibes. So because he I'm killed the angel. thing. Now, big as I am, I was smiling that situation, and I ain't like that. So I do got somebody that was there. I got a witness that was there that can, you know, confirm. You tell me what happened, though. So he hit me. He 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 asked me, he come in there, why you posted? I'm like, um, yeah, you know why I posted. Clearly, it was about the curtains. But, it you was know, what? You about you the curtains? He was like, you know, you could have called me. You could have uh, did this and that. But, you know, I had to hear through a great, you know, to a great vibe. But I'm like, um, when you whispering about it, you was talking about it in, in the party. You didn't come to me about my curtains. You didn't tell me you liked them. You know, you felt away. So all this is some messy gossip. Yeah, and John is messy. Are you serious? Do a messy bun, a messy yeah. person. It all yes, you do look messy. Look at, yes. at him. Look at him. Oh, no, he he want to talk about me. He's talking about some mess. <laughs> what? Yes. Please. He going to get popped again because he Oh, I act the mess. Oh, you get what popped again? Blind. Now you want to fight in here. That's, you that's fought in church. About. Now you want to fight in my courtroom. And that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I thought it was a dead situation at the church after that. Cause I'm like, God gonna judge you because he don't like ugly. No, I'm Clearly. judging the day, but, but I, and I ain't God. At the end of the day, if we were supposed to be some type I'll of- I sit on the throne. I sit on the bench. God determine whether you go to heaven. I determine whether you go to hell, which is jail. <laughs> All right. Now, what are you saying? I'm still saying, though, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if we were still originally in the same environment um, and whatever was supposed to have been said, he should have he should have came to me. So I had um, a person at church, um, and I called myself up asking, confronting him about the video. He gave me a mad attitude. He called himself turning around real hard, like turning around on me. And so I just booped. You know, in church? Yes. Mm-hmm. Y'all fighting in church? Plaintiff John Allen is suing his former friend, who claims John assaulted him in church. You are unable to prove to me that someone looking at that knows that he is definitively referring to you. There's no way that a typical person would get that understanding, nor would your friends, unless you told them. And so I'm going to dismiss your claim. And with regard to the assault and the pain and suffering, the pastor broke it up or the deacons or the, the congregation. Uh, y'all didn't make the ladies and uh, what they call the ladies the and white. No, the mothers of the church. Oh, no, no. I stopped fighting him because he wasn't fighting You had back. the mother of the happened. church. No, he lying. He yeah, didn't even fight back. So you trying fight to be the one of the mother. They ain't going to let you in. You can stop wearing that white. You can wear that white all you want. They ain't going to let no you be angel. no mother. I ain't no angel. And he ain't all black like the devil, a big devil, a big bull. <laughs> you got a nerve a enough big to wear bull. a shirt that looks like a collar on it, like he's a preacher. <laughs> well, no, I ain't saying that, but. You far from a preacher? Yeah, I'm a, far from he a preacher. How a, far? Like a mile? Nah, just next door. <laughs> <laughs> last words from you or last thing you want to say? Good. I don't want to hear no more from you. Period. 5,000 is what you want. I'm going to grant you. $1,000 for the attack in the church 
which was very humiliating. And I can only punish you for what you did to him. The pastor needs to punish you for violence in his church and the members and the usher board and everybody else that has a voice in that church. They should start a petition. Do you still go back? They still let you I don't in? go to church no more. Thank you. You don't need to be in nobody's church. You need to be on your knees, in your well, room, don't need to by be yourself, talking, talking, reading your through. scripture, trying to understand, not to engage in violence against your fellow brother. He like to crack jokes. I like to crack jaws. You, so. uh, <laughs> you like to crack jaws. He like to crack jokes. And that's why you're in trouble today. $1,000 is your judgment. Good luck to you. And stop all that cursing us. They're going to put you out. I changed my life. I changed my life. Since last week. That was Since last, last week. night. Have a good day. Have, have a good day. <laughs> them jokes are stale, just like his hair. Mm. That color, them, them that patch, whatever that is that you got going on, let it go, my right, dog. Right. Let it go. Let the dogs bark.